So we've left Hoi An um, and we've arrived at Da Nang. Um, the people of Vietnam love Da Nang. Every time I speak to a Vietnamese person about where to go in Vietnam, they always say Da Nang. Um, I quite like the quaintness of Vietnam sometimes, the little villages, that kind of thing, but it's quite easy to understand why Vietnamese people love Da Nang. Um, it's very modern, it's very sort of Western. You'll get a McDonald's here, you'll get a KFC. It's not just the usual stuff, they have vending machines, yeah. Today we're just going to have a little walk around the town centre of Da Nang. I mean, look at these beautiful trees and flowers everywhere. It is a really pretty place when you get off the main road and you get away from the traffic. Downtown Da Nang. Modern. It does make a bit of a change to be honest with you. Normally I do like the little fishing villages. Okay, so tonight we're going to go to Son Tra Night Market. After our nightmare with the Hoi An street food scene, we come across this place. Um, one thing I did notice about this place is there's a lot of Vietnamese people who actually eat here. So um, what I'm expecting to see is some fresh food cooked. So after stuffing our faces last night at the night market, today's mission was to cross the Hai Van Pass, apparently Vietnam's most dangerous road. What a way to explore Vietnam. Just get yourself a moped, it costs about three to four pounds, English pounds, maybe five American dollars. Uh, fuel is about 50p a litre. Get about 60 kilometres for a litre and just drive around. You know, people say being on a moped's dangerous. It's not dangerous, it's like just riding a bicycle. You get a go button, you get a stop button and that's all you gotta do. It really, really is quite simple. Um, but the feeling you get, the wind in your hair, the mountains to the left, the sea to the right, it's an unbeatable feeling. Um, and it's one of them things you just have to experience in life. Take a little risk, have a go. It'll be worth it, I promise you. What an exciting ride that was. If you don't fancy it on a moped, you can get a train or you can get an easy rider journey on here. I mean, look at the views around here. Look at this, mountains, sea. So after our adventure on the High Van Pass, what a fantastic journey that was, um, we took a two hour taxi ride today to Hue, the ancient capital, apparently another ancient capital of Vietnam, they've got quite a few actually. Um, yeah, it's our first night out so I don't really know what to expect. I mean to be fair, my, my first impression is um, a lot of work going on here, I'm having to walk in the middle of the road because they're digging up the road and there's nowhere to walk. 
and it stinks as well. I think they're putting a new sewer in to be fair to them. I don't think it just stinks in general. Um, people are still eating though. They still eat the street food next to the open sewer. Tourists as well, so who knows? I'm not sure why I want to eat next to that smell though, if I'm really honest with you. So this morning we're having a, a walk around the ancient capital of Hue um, in central Vietnam. Um, if you look behind me here, you can see it's a walled city, or the old town's a walled city anyway. Um, it's in remarkably good condition, considering, I'm not sure how old it is, a couple of hundred years old maybe, part of the um, Wen dynasty, I think you pronounce it. Um, yeah, it's such a beautiful little walk around. It's quite quiet in the centre. It's busy when you get outside the main walls, but virtually all the walls are, are intact here, which is quite unusual for a walled city. Uh, the moat reminds me a little bit of Chiang Mai. You've got that square moat running around the fortifications in the middle. Um, seems to be a bit of a theme in Southeast Asia with their fort building. A normal kind of Vietnamese town to be fair and um, you'll find the prices here really really good value um, everything seems to be quite cheap food for like a pound of bowl drinks I don't even know how much a drink was 20p for a bottle of water something like that um, look at this street though it's like, it's like the Vegas strip of Vietnam um, I might have to come down here at night at some point and have a little look at it because it looks like um, yeah it looks quite an interesting street Okay, so this is a really interesting little place, Chang Do Ba Marketplace in Hue. Um, yeah, people, people seem to sleep on top of their food here and chill out on their mobile phones. Really interesting place to walk around now. All the fresh vegetables and stuff. Everyone's a little bit busy. So inside, to be fair, there's quite a lot of room in here. I have been to some markets in Vietnam where you cannot move. We got some dried fish. Um, I feel a little bit uncultured because most of the stuff I'm looking at, I don't really know what it is. There are moments when I wish I'd learned some Vietnamese, but it's such a hard language to grasp all the accents and stuff, the pronunciation of the words. Even when I try to speak Vietnamese, nobody understands what I'm saying. It's really difficult to get right. Just wait for the delivery men to go past. That looks heavy. Yeah, so Hue does have a bit of a street food culture actually, more like Thailand than some of the other places I've been to in Vietnam. They have a different noodle dish in every area. Is Bun Boa Huay, I think that's what it's called, and it's, it's, it's basically spicy beef noodle dish, a little bit like a, a noodle soup really, but with their own set of spices. I'm not 100% sure, but I presume you, you put some of this in, give it a stare around, and then you have a go. There it goes. Okay, so tonight's adventure, um, we're gonna go to the street food market in Hue, um, just outside Dong Ba ma um, Day Market, if you like. Huge, beautiful street food culture. One thing I love about you is when you see people eating street food in Hue, 
They're all Vietnamese people, which fills me with confidence, to be fair. It's got a massive selection of Vietnamese dishes going on along here. Look at all the mopeds. If you need to know where this place is, it's just outside of Chou Dong Bar Market.